Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to track a 360 prism with a robotic total station. So what I'm going to do to begin here is I've got Field Genius open, and I've already hooked up to my Zoom 95 robot. And what I'm going to do to search for my prism here is I'm first going to change, because I'm using a 360 prism, I'm going to change my target type here from a circular prism to my 360 prism option here. Once I have that selected, I'm going to click OK at the bottom left corner to save that setting. And now to actually search for my prism, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the red circular arrow button, either or in the top right corner here. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell the robot to begin searching for my prism. And you can see here on my nice little video overlay in front of my desk, you can see the prism is beginning to go through its search routine looking for the prism. Now, once it is locked onto the prism, we'll get a message here on the data collector that basically my loading menu disappears and my two red arrows have become green. And if I move my prism around, it will now begin to follow me and I'm ready to begin whatever work I need to do with this robotic total station. But for now, that is everything in today's video. That is how you search for a prism, in my case, a 360 prism within Field Genius. And if you have a moment, I'll please ask you to hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help us out and helps me keep making these videos. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about anything you've seen on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench dashmark.ca.